office on which I am about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. And with that, history was made. Kamala Harris is now the first woman to serve as Vice President of the United States. She's also the first black person and the first South Asian American to serve in that role. KCTV5's Carolina Cruz took a look at the historic moment with a professor from KU and a sorority sister of Harris. During her victory speech in November, Kamala Harris said, I may be the first woman to hold this office, but I won't be the last. And today she started paving the way for those to come. I'm Kamala Davy Harris, I solemnly swear. History was made. Defend the Constitution. I think that this is a pivotal moment for people in this nation to feel like they're included, to feel like they're represented. As KU professor Terry Finneman watched the first Latina to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, Sonia Sotomayor swear in the first woman vice president, she was reminded of the words spoken at the Women's Rights Convention in 1848. That all men and women are created equal. And I think today with the swearing in of Kamala Harris, you see those ideals finally being fulfilled. It's also for what she represents to so many others. Twyla Woods Buford, regional director of Alpha Kappa Alpha based in Kansas City, says it was also a big day for her sisterhood. It's emotional for us. That I will bear true faith. Vice President Harris is an AKA. I knew then something was special about her. The two met a couple of years ago, and Woods Buford encouraged her to set her sights on the White House. When you take a look at the wall of portraits and all of the men, and then that striking image of Kamala Harris mixed in there. Uh, today, there were many tears shed as she was sworn in. Um, it was a moment that I think all of us looked to her and said, wow, it is possible. Alpha Kappa Alpha declared January 20th Kamala D. Harris Day. And to honor this day, members are encouraged to wear pink and their pearls. These are the official symbols of AKA. Reporting in downtown KC, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News.